You should uh, be teaching people a violinist and playing I, the orchestra. Well, I do. <laughs> that, at Manhattan School, I, uh -huh. I teach a, a course in orchestral mm -hmm. performance, mm -hmm. a graduate program, and mm -hmm. that's what we do. And we've had a Help them great prepare audition for the orchestra. And we have about four people from that program that went right in. That took auditions and, and won the New York Philharmonic New York Phil. audition. New York Phil. <laughs> Thanks audition. to you because you knew. We'll, how to. we'll shorten it <laughs> for the for the audiences. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So that's a really wonderful course, and uh -huh. uh, you know, it's it's unique. Uh -huh. There's no other like that. And basically, it's really an art to take an audition for an orchestra. Just because you can, can play a concerto beautifully doesn't mean you can get an orchestral job. Because it's totally different. Fifty percent of the audition is learning how to play those excerpts totally unlike you would as a soloist. So uh, this is unique. And, uh, you know, let's face it, not everybody's going to be a soloist when they graduate from a Juilliard or Curtis or mm -hmm. wherever. They have, so to, they have to be do? able to make a so living. So what should they do? This, the what one they should do a is either become <laughs> soloists if they can, which if is not, rare. Then if not, most people sit down get Gordon Castro jobs either for the as, yeah. And it's it's very tough. It's more we steady. just had auditions for we had five openings in our orchestra for violin, and we had over a hundred people who tried to get the position, and we wow. didn't get one finalist. So one. we had not not one, not one. There was no finalist. So that just shows you we had really wonderful violinists, but they didn't know how to play the excerpts. So obviously the conservatories are not doing enough. Or nor the universities to really educate their so-called solo talents how to also play in an orchestra. I know that I was one of those people when I got the job in Los Angeles. Didn't know much about orchestral playing because I was groomed to be a soloist. Right. But the fact of the matter is that I became a much better musician and even a better violinist by learning how to play excerpts because they're so incredibly difficult. Because everything had to be square on time, so is a metronome a it's, good thing it's, to it's practice with? It's Ivana good, but also just getting the experience of what it's like to fit into an ensemble, not to stick out and be mm -hmm, a soloist. It's mm -hmm. a totally different kind of training. And, Very and difficult. it teaches you control, how to play extremely quietly, rhythmically, and that's sort of an, an art that is not too, uh, too known these yeah, days. No one, by the no one teaches that when well, I, I mean, I'm young. You know, no one I teaches wish, it. I wish somebody teach me say, oh, how do you sit down, prepare, and do a better score? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, audition. that's that's the audition. problem. It's the education. So everybody thinks they're going to be great soloists, and uh, you can even be a great soloist, but not be lucky enough to be hired as a soloist. It takes not even winning competitions doesn't guarantee that's you that right, anymore. That's right. That's right. I know that if you can name the last few winners of the Tchaikovsky competition. I'd be hard pressed to know one name from there because they, they don't you don't have careers instantaneously like they used to. Exactly. Gone are the days of the Van Cliburns and uh, this the kind of you know it just it's not that kind of an era. Mm -hmm. So now people have to understand that when you graduate after six years of college or, or in university, mm -hmm. you have to know that how am I going to feed myself? And uh, we have still wonderful orchestras throughout. United States and Europe and Asia, and they should people should know how to be able to play those orchestral excerpts.